Well, good morning everybody this is cruise Ben, and uh, just getting ready to ride home once again on this 2022 Indian Pursuit I'm not going to do the review today but I am going to give you a couple of Easter eggs I guess you call it Easter eggs I am going to give you a couple of little observations let's call it that that I've noticed about this pursuit that uh, are just interesting I'll include them in the review as well but I think uh, right now I need to get home. Okay, the first uh, observation is the trunk lid is extremely heavy. Of course, it has this big chrome luggage rack on it, so I'm sure that's part of the reason it's heavy. But it takes a fair amount of uh, uh, a force, you might say, to close this trunk lid. You almost have to slam it to get it to latch. If I do it like that, it will not latch. So I thought this lid was closed a couple of times and I had my computer and stuff in here and, and I never checked it so I just assumed it was latched and it wasn't. So uh, one of the things that I have observed even from here, and now there it latched. But if you just close it like this it's not going to latch. So you have to give it a pretty good drop. See, even that didn't do it. That did. Now that now it's now it's latched. And you have a button down here you press to unlock it. So anyway, that's one observation. You you have to kind of make sure uh, that your trunk is latched and kind of know be aware of how much force it takes to latch the trunk. Okay, let's start this thing up and get on down the road. I just had uh, my morning coffee here at Einstein's Bagels, kind of my morning location. This is probably the, I don't know, maybe the fifth or sixth time I've ridden this bike. starting to get used to it a little bit. I think I've put just under a hundred miles on the bike so far, just mostly riding back and forth from my house to uh, Einstein. Now what's interesting is uh, you may notice the screen is dark and it's daylight. The screen should be white, it should be brighter. And I have noticed an issue with this screen being able, or the system being able to detect the ambient light. I know at night, or when I leave to come here in the morning, sometimes it's pitch dark, it's five o'clock in the morning. And the daytime setting is on. So this thing is extremely bright when it's dark out and it makes it hard to see. It's so bright, the screen, it, that uh, in day mode, that it almost blinding. But now, after I ride for a while, this screen will change. Okay, so anyway, for those of you that are new, welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. I don't want to get hit here in the parking lot. Parking lots are one of the most dangerous places to ride, in my opinion. So if you're new, welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Normally, I don't know what the hell they're doing here. They're unloading a truck or something. They're trying to drag something off the back of this truck where they can take it off of the forklift, I guess. I'm not sure what they're doing here, but they've got it messed up. And the traffic is screwed up as well.
I was started to say back there as I was trying to make my way out of that parking lot. If you're passionate about motorcycles, I would invite you to join our family and subscribe by clicking that little subscribe button down below. And don't forget the notification bell because that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. So my, my hope is that uh, when we get back into town, now some of you may not know this, but we have another YouTube channel for the cruise industry. And Ricky and I will be leaving once again this weekend to go to Alaska for a seven night cruise. And so that's a week I won't have to be able to review this motorcycle. You can see it's still in the nighttime mode on the, on the ride command screen here. Anyway, so hopefully when we get back into town, I'm going to have an opportunity. I'm going to clear this with Indian first, but I'm hoping I have an opportunity to take this motorcycle on a road trip. Um, my plan is to ride this motorcycle out to West Texas to see my brother, which I do two or three times a year. And I like to do that because it's a, it's a trip I'm familiar with. I know how I feel after 350 miles on the Goldwing. I'd like to know how I feel after 350 miles on this motorcycle. I think it gives me a unique opportunity to compare uh, this bike. I've done that. On, I did that on the BMW as well, that same route. So it, it just gives me a chance to compare head-to-head -head what these motorcycles are like under my normal riding circumstances. Now if you have anything that you're specifically interested in knowing about this, this Indian pursuit, uh, please put it in the comments down below and I'll try to include that as part of my review. I'll make sure, or I'll try my best to uh, get that information for you. Uh, if you saw my review of the BMW K1600 GTL, you kind of have an idea of how thorough I do go through these motorcycles and try to give you as much information as I can. But it does take a little bit of research, it does take uh, a little bit of preparation, making notes. Uh, I will tell you that uh, I know I did a video last few days on polishing this gas tank uh, because it did come in with a lot of scratches and I think that's a result of the transport company. I don't think it had anything to do with Indian. I just think that the, the people that delivered the bike to me had stacked a bunch of something. Maybe they had piled something on top of the gas tank. I don't know. But this motorcycle had quite a bit of uh, paint damage, you might say. And I spent about 35 minutes, 40 minutes polishing out uh, the tank using my Griot's polisher, which some of you probably watched that video. Well, the next day I came out and uh, I really went over the motorcycle with a fine tooth comb and I noticed a lot of scratches on other parts of the bike as too, like the tops of the saddlebag, saddlebag lids, a little bit on the front fairing. So I just went ahead and got my polisher out and I probably spent another hour uh, hour and a half going over the whole bike. I just thought, you know, it's not right of me to do a review of a motorcycle and not have it look its best. Now, I didn't correct everything. Uh, there's actually some, a couple of fairly substantial scratches still in this gas tank that um, I'm not really comfortable going that level of polishing or correction on paint that I'm not familiar with and the scratches are in places that there's no way a rider would have scratched it just riding the bike it's almost like something had to be set on top of this motorcycle I know some of you posted comments saying I can't believe that Indian would deliver a motorcycle to you with those scratches but I really don't think I think the bike only had 700 miles on it so I, I don't think uh, 
this had anything to do with the previous person that rode the motorcycle, which I'm assuming was another motor journalist, because this is a press bike. I think this was something that was done in transport. Now what's interesting is yesterday morning, I rode my Goldwing for coffee, and it, it's a real interesting comparison when you ride these motorcycles back to back. You ride the Indian one day, you ride the Goldwing one day. It just gives you a whole different, like an instant ability to compare the two with each other. And it just is a really a unique opportunity, I guess I should say, to, uh, that I had to compare the two. One piece of good news is we did sell the 2007 Mercury that's been in our garage for six months, uh, which was Ricky's mother's Mercury, and it took up half of the big garage, which is where I do most of my videos and my work. And that Mercury is now gone, so now I have the garage back uh, to do uh, stuff that I need to do for this motorcycle and my Goldwing. I think I mentioned to you in a previous motor vlog that I was going to be doing a review or a comparison of the pressure washer that I received a few months ago that they had come out with an updated version and that I was going to be comparing the two and they had shipped me another pressure washer to do that comparison and just uh, this week I finally got around to pulling that thing out into the garage and opening up the box and I was getting ready to do the comparison you're not going to believe it they accidentally shipped me the exact same model that I already had so there was nothing there's nothing for me to compare yet so that that delayed that video I hope to have that video out today so I'm waiting on another shipment they're supposed to be shipping me the uh, uh, the one they actually wanted me to do the comparison with. Uh, they're supposed to be shipping that out again this week, but again, it may not come in until I'm back from Alaska. So that might get delayed another uh, 10 days, who knows. So as I sit here in traffic uh, on my way back home, I would like to thank you for joining me today. I'll reveal one other little nugget of information about this Indian before I release my review. Just one other little observation. And that is these top loading saddlebags. I can very easily fit my MacBook Pro 16 inch with the cover in the case. It just fits right down in that saddlebag no problem with plenty of room to spare, I might add. And that laptop will not fit in the saddlebag on my Honda Goldwing with the case on. Now with the case off, I might be able to cram it in there. I haven't tried, but with the case, it certainly will not fit. So that's just one little observation. The saddlebags on this motorcycle are pretty substantial, as is the trunk. And of course, I'll give you more details on that when I come out with my final review because I will review every little detail and that screen is still set to night mode. I'm going to have to check that when I get home. I had it set to auto where it automatically detected day or night, but for some reason it is still set to night mode. I'll check it when I get back to the back to the house. I just pulled into my neighborhood and I noticed, or actually I'm almost at home, and I noticed it now switched to day mode. It took it that long, probably 15 minutes before it actually switched over to daytime mode. So I'm not sure if because it's cloudy outside, maybe that's why. Maybe it has to be in bright sunlight or it just doesn't detect it. So anyway, thanks again for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.